Good morning and welcome to my channel, Lala's Wild and Crazy Golden Years, where today stretching is fetching. Yes, today's video is going to be about stretching first thing in the morning before you get out of bed, filling your lungs with oxygen so you're ready to start your day. I'm going to walk you through it. Let's go. Okay, we've just awoken. I'm going to take a deep breath. I have to take the covers off in order to do this. So hopefully your room isn't too freezing. And I reach up, I have my arms like, my hands like this, and I point my toes or flex my toes and get a good stretch and take a deep breath. I do that for a few seconds or more, depending on how my mood and how much time I have. I go up into happy baby. Now, if you can't do this because it's uncomfortable, please just go as far as you can. This just feels so wonderful in my hips and in my lower back. Uh, and you can move around. Now, if you have someone sleeping with you, try to do this quietly. No singing. Sing internally. Then I bring my legs in and straighten, and I drop one leg and I pull the other forward again only as far as you can go but this is just really really good for my knee that I had the surgery on um, in December so I need to do lots of range of motion and it's good for everybody's knees to just move so when I breathe in deep I pull it forward let it out and relax breathe in Again, only as far as you can go. And I do little helicopter things with my toes and I flex and point. Then I will bend it down and bring up the other one mm. and repeat on this side. Oh my gosh, it feels so wonderful. For the sake of this video, I won't do it so long, so, but you can do it and I do it much longer, at least 10 minutes for the whole session. I cross my uh, leg over my other leg, and if you can't do this, because this is you can't bend your knee this way, which I can't do on the other side, I'll show you that way, but this really stretches your hip. Oh my, my, my. And I flex my foot. Oh, and I feel really a good stretch in my hip. Breathing always deeply. On the exhale, I guess that's when you pull it tight, not on the inhale. <laughs> I'm not talking when I do this, so I get a little uh, askew. All right, hold that as long as you can. You can move that around as well. Breathing and calming your mind. That's kind of hard for me. All right, I bring up, and then on this leg, I bend my knee and pull over, and then look the opposite. And you'll get a good stretch. Just hold it. Breathing deeply. Mm, 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 mm. Then I come back in the middle. And again, I work my knees because my knees are a problem area. I mean, that's where we put the most pressures on these four knees. Oh. I hold. And then I do it on this side. Feels so weird still. Hurts. But. No pain, no gain for knee surgery. Ow. Again, you don't want to do that. Now there's another stretch that's very important for the front of your, you know, your thigh. I, I, you don't want to do this. You want to put your head down and you have your knees bent. And then if you can, grab your ankle, pushing your pelvis forward Pull, feel that stretch in the thigh. Oh my, my. And if you can't do that, I'll show you what I do on the other side, since I can't do that on that side yet, but it, oh, it's important to stretch everywhere. I'm gonna do the upper body here in a minute. Okay. So how I do it on the other side with a knee that I can't bend like that. You can still see me, I haven't fell off the bed yet. Bend my knees. And on this one, I bend it as far as I can, and I push it back 
and pull my pelvis forward. So I'm just, I get a good stretch in there too. Relax your neck. Breathe. Sit, hold it as long as you can. Uh, and I also do just another stretch that I learned when I was doing, had my surgery, uh, was to flex my feet and squeeze my butt together and push down. <laughs> hold, hold, hold. It really helps with your hamstrings and your gluteus maximus, our butts. Squeeze and breathe. It's just a little added stretch that I adore. Okay, and to end on the lower body, I take, I get up on the bed, and I take a little pillow, and I put it, you know, almost sitting on it, so that my posture is good for this one. And this one, you have your legs straight and flex your toes. If you can, go all, take a deep breath, let it out, and go all the way down. If you can only go this far, that's fine. Keep your back flat. Oh. And what I do is I pedal my feet and I feel the stretch. Oh, all on this side. And the other side. Oh my gosh. Mmm. Lots of mmm sounds. I then round my back. Oh, oh, oh. Mm-hmm. Let out your breath. Look up partially to the ceiling. Round your back. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, lovely. Okay. Now we're going to work again. I have this under my tush. Work our upper body. Stretch our upper body. And you can just turn over, you know, turn over. Turn around and hang your legs off. But I will take a deep breath, come all the way up. I lace my fingers like so, and I pull, pull, pull. Oh my goodness, I feel it in my upper back. Hold this for as long as you can, and it's comfortable. I then do a tricep step, stretch. I push, put my arm down and lay it in the upper back here. Pat myself on the back and pull. It's only as far as you can. I don't want anybody breaking a, anything. I'll do the other side. The tricep. Oh, this feels really good right here. Ouch! <laughs> it missed up in the eye. These exercises can be dangerous if you're not um, taking your time. <clears throat> okay. And then I will come across and stretch this part. Mm -hmm. oh, deep breaths. It's you just don't know what you do to your arms. They they do most all the you know lifting. You let your legs when you, if you're squatting squat correctly and then work these arms. You got to stretch them because it, as I said they do too much work. They do all the work. Oh. Oh yes. Oh yes. Oh yes. Here you can sing, unless you, your spouse should be up by now, or your significant other. I like to stretch this part of my arm, so I will pull, oh, pull that back for a few seconds, like a few hundred breaths, and I'll go forward and pull. Mm, this this is this is the uh, phone arm and mouse arms. Repeat on the other side. Stretch as long as you can. Take a deep breath and let it out. Put your neck on to the left. You want to stretch in here. I'll do this. Easy and a little pull apart. Oh my goodness. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then the other side. Ah, wunderbar. And then you can also turn, put your head down and look to your left. 
nice and easy. Come up forward, look to the right, and lower down. In on a big cleansing breath. And now you're ready for your day. Okay, we are nice and relaxed, we are stretched, we are full of oxygen, and we're ready to start our day. I go right to the kitchen and get me some coffee. Some people go get tea, some go straight to, to water, which is what I do next. And you know I've told you millions of times how exportant, exportant, important water is. But a water alone doesn't always do it. At our age, we tend to be more dehydrated. So what I do, I thought would be, I looked for this pow a powder, and I got this on uh, Amazon. It's called Highlight. I'll link it in the description below. It's just a powder. Ooh, magic powder. Take a scoop, level scoop, put it in your water, shake it up, and you're good to go. This is replaces the trace minerals that you lose from depending on what you're up to. Athletes, you know, they they really work out hard and they sweat and they need this hydration. But for everyday hydration, it's it's a good idea to add. They have uh, drops as well, but this powder seems to work, and it's um, a pink lemonade flavored and no added sugar. They just, they put stevia in it, which doesn't affect your uh, blood sugar levels. All right, next, if you can, is get more physical exercise. I have a recumbent bike because of my knee that I use and it's fabulous. I have a treadmill because it's so darn cold outside. I haven't been able to take long walks like I used to, it was three miles a day. So now I have to ease into it and uh, so, the treadmill and the recumbent work for me. If you can get out and walk, if you have, uh, you can do chair yoga, whatever. You need to do more than just stretching. Stretching is important from, you know, in the morning, afternoon, and night. I mean, I stretch all day long because I just, I get all creaky <laughs> and achy. And that's what happens at 66 pickup sticks. Okay, now if you like this video, please. Uh, subscribe and hit the little notification bell so that you will know every time my mug is out here with a new video. My ending quote today, I love being married. So great to find that one special person you want to annoy for the rest of your life. That's from Rita Rudner. She's so funny. Or Rudner. Okay. Peace out.